So in this video, I would like to show you few options on uh, how to remove the WordPress footer. If you are a owner of a WordPress site, like you know, you can see the creators of the themes, they would like to have their branding on the sites and then that will have the link to their website. I mean, it's okay for them to have those, but then as a creator or a owner of the content site, you may not like it. So um, I would like to show you some of the options. Like there are uh, these different themes I have, right? For example, I would like to go and click on the uh, customize and then see the uh, themes editor to see if I can remove it from the footer page. But then the thing is they don't uh, give you that option they hide it in somewhere some other PHP file and um, if you have to like totally uh, remove it maybe you can uh, comment that block but it will remove the entire footer block uh, which I don't like I, I like that template and uh, the footer section looks good with uh, the entire site so I need to keep it so uh, there are other like you know options where um, so there are other options like where you can install a plugin and try to see if that plugin will work right and uh, the thing is uh, if you try to install any plugin like a footer plugin you go here enter the footer and then like there are a bunch of uh, plugins out there in the market you can try uh, to install them and see if that will work right because it's kind of a hit or a miss it's not a guarantee like it's going to uh, help you but then um, you have to keep trying and the problem I have seen is it will add additional code to your site and then uh, uh, some of some don't even work like this one doesn't work and then let's say you go and add a different one for example uh, I'm going to add the Elementor right so say footer and then uh, see if the plugin called as uh, Elementor right okay so the Elementor is a very popular one out there and see how it will help right so but then when you activate it it says okay now you need to install other plugins okay so that's going to only, that's going to only work with if you have the other basic elementor plugins and let's try doing that okay because it's going to add a bunch of other plugins which you really don't need right now maybe you may be needing it as you progress so i'm going to install the other plugins and see so what happens is once you activate that it's going to add a menu on the item on the left side so you can have you can see all these unnecessary plugins that were added so it's all upsell and cross sell by many of them manufacturers like you know makers software um, so now I added this and then let's see if uh, this plugin is going to help as a footer for the entire website right so let's go and uh, ch refresh the site and now okay so now it did work actually but then what it did is it took away the entire footer section but I like the black border and I want to still keep my, uh, you know, the, the customize it the way I want it. So I want to like have more control over it. So since it is not working, so what I'm going to do, I'll go back and then deactivate it and uh, simply delete it. You see, So what I did is like I, I wanted to directly go and see if there is a easier way where you can have a lot more control. So by going to the 
team folder okay so you, you just need to find out So you just need to find out where is your theme folders location so he, mine is here okay so that's where your path will be my like you know go into the public and then uh, WP admin content there are like other folders and then go to the themes open the command prompt and uh, in this command prompt what you can do is uh, see uh, navigate to the CD into that folder where it is open and then uh, once you go there uh, try to there are a bunch of PHP files you don't know where uh, they buried that uh, code no, for that uh, I would like to tell you is like just go to the page and then uh, copy the URL like you know if you hover over it it will highlight and then uh, it will give you an option then right click on it copy the link address for it so you will go and search for that string so here there is a very easy way to search within the files like you know find a, a string is a command that windows give you gives you by default and then you can use that and uh, just follow uh, like you know slash i and then space uh, slash uh, capital S then enter the copied uh, so this has to be like the shark themes is something from my website that has to be whatever you want to search for yours so you have to change that don't just enter what I'm entering here and then uh, star dot star that I'm entering here what it means is like any file not just PHP file any file so in within so <clears throat> such a short time it just search for it and showing the location is in the footer dot PHP in INC template hooks folder so it actually gives you the details also where it is located and uh, so now let's go and search that folder so it says INC so I'm going to go into that INC folder within that uh, template hooks and then the footer dot PHP so let's search like command F or control F in Windows find and you see it's uh, showing like that's where it is sharkthemes.com so that's what I want to like remove it and then replace it my with my own so let's uh, delete that thing and change it to mine realonix.com and also the text that appears let's so like humor by shark theme so I'm going to delete that also and then replace it with my website's name and then let's save don't touch this uh, Yuma like you know some um, software like theme software developers they create their own variables by you know like that so you may think that is one of the things that you want to change but don't touch that because it's going to crash your uh, website so now uh, let's save the file I'm going to save the file and then now let's go back to the website and uh, see if it changed right so now it's uh, going to refresh I'm going to refresh the page so now voila so there you go it changed that okay so it was that easy like you know there are very, very few steps just find the folder and then like search for all the subdirectories and directories and within these files using the windows uh, find string method command and then you can go into any website like you know if there is any other like what I'm showing here any other like you know template you can search for those files 
and uh, for the particular string and then just change it here and then if you are a Un unix or linux uh, web hoster like you know where your site is on linux right so the command uh, that you use like grep and uh, rnw and then have the path over there and then the pattern like what they, you you are searching for the string pattern okay so this should help uh, you easily search for the files and the string and also the path finally don't forget to hit the subscribe button i am in the process of helping as many as possible i can only do that if you are subscribed and please make sure you hit that like button because that motivates me to create more content for you thank you